Lady, Teddy Rubskin here. Yeah. Whoa. Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here. And yeah, I got a hell of a response from my fucking Willow video, you know? Where we was talking about Willow. What an awesome movie that fucking is, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you haven't seen Willow, you should fucking see it. And if you haven't seen my video about Willow, you should fucking see that too. Got a link right there. And click on it if you want to. You know? Go ahead and click on it, you know? This video will stop and it'll open it in the window. I'll wait. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Anyway, yeah, today we're talking about Warwick Davis, who's the star of Willow. Yeah, and he's great. Fucking love him. He's one of my favorite actors, big or small. You know, he's great. Because, you know, there are no small parts, just small actors. But Warwick Davis, he may be short, but he's not a small actor. Hell no. He's been in lots of fucking movies. Although, oftentimes, you might not recognize him, you know? I mean, he's been in several Harry Potter movies, but he's usually covered by tons of fucking makeup and virtually unrecognizable, but he's been in them, you know? He was in the Chronicles of Narnia, too. There he is with another short actor, Peter Dinklage, but both of them are covered with fucking lots of makeup and fake beards, you know, right? Did you actually know he was in the fucking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yeah, he played the robot, you know? But you wouldn't fucking know that. I mean, he wasn't the voice of the robot. Alan Rickman was the voice of the robot. But he, he, he was in the suit, you know? Yeah, and he was in Labyrinth. Yeah, he played the fucking dwarf. Of course, he's wearing a big rubber animatronic head. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize him, but that's him. Isn't that awesome? Actually, his first fucking film was uh, covered in a fucking Ewok costume. Yeah, he was in Return of the Jedi, playing Wicket, you know? But that was awesome. It was great for him. When he made the movie, he was a little kid. I bet that was a great experience, because he was a Star Wars fan, and he's in a fucking Star Wars movie. That was a fucking dream come true, you know? And then he went on to play Wicket, the Ewok, in uh, several Ewok movies, you know? Like the Ewok Adventure, and Ewoks Battle for Endor, you know? Those Ewok movies get a bad rap, you know? People don't like them because, what, they started Ewoks. And Ewoks is stupid. I fucking like Ewoks. Ewoks are cool. Of course, uh, probably biased there because I'm a bear, you know. And Ewoks are kind of like bears. They're basically bears, what, you know. Those Ewok movies are pretty fucking cool, man, you know. Kind of like them. I mean, I mean, you can't compare them to fucking Star Wars movies because they're not. You know, they don't have spaceships flying around. They don't have lightsabers, you know. But, you know, they're still fucking cool. What? What, man? Warwick Davis was actually in The Phantom Menace. Yeah, he had several parts. One where he was playing like a, a little Greedo guy, you know. And another where he wasn't wearing any makeup at all. Yeah, at the pod race. You can actually see him in the crowd. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I like parts where you can actually see him. And he actually gets to fucking talk, you know. That's why I fucking like the Leprechaun movies. Leprechauns are great. I mean, he is wearing tons of makeup, but he's still recognizable. And he, he gets to fucking do his own fucking lines, you know? Yeah. Hey, he had tons of fun making Leprechaun movies. That's why he made, like, six of them. Because they were fucking fun to do. And you can tell he's having a fucking good time, too. <laughs> he fucking enjoyed that. You know? Yeah. Fucking love it. He's awesome. And he actually wrote a book about his life called Size Mad is Not. Because... So it doesn't matter, you know? It's not about your height. It's about who you are on the fucking inside. And Warwick Davis, he's a fucking awesome guy. I fucking love him. He's great, you know? And he's also got a show, a TV show, right? That he started doing with fucking Ricky Gervais, which is actually a hilarious fucking show. It's called Life's Too Short. <laughs> and uh, it's so fucking funny, man. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. You know, it's kind of about his life and his fucking troubles and, you know, trying to find acting work when he's a short actor and it's fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. And, uh, recently fucking Val Kilmer showed up on his show. Yeah, Val fucking Kilmer. I love Val Kilmer. He's great. And apparently, the two of them, 
you know, they became good friends while making Willow, you know. In the movie, you know, him and Willow don't really get along very well, right? But in real life, they became close friends. Yeah. Uh, I love fucking Willow. It's fucking great, you know. And, and recently, when I was watching the movie again, making a video about it, you know, I actually watched a little bit of it with Warwick Davis doing the commentary track. On the left there, that gentleman with the beard is my my father-in-law, Peter Burroughs. He gives you some interesting Hiya. insights into the movie. Watch out for the chicken now. Trying to upstage me. <laughs> kicking the chicken. <laughs> He's kicking the chicken. That's funny. But, <laughs> you know, I don't usually like the fucking commentary tracks on movies. I'm like, fuck it. Why, why do I want the fucking director or producer talking over my fucking movie? Like, shut the fuck up. Let me watch the movie. Fucking talking over the movie. But he gave me some really interesting insights, you know? Like, you know that guy with the skull mask? Uh, what's his name? Kale! 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 <laughs> yeah, that's how I remember his name. Because of the bird. Kale! 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 Yeah, that's the name. General Kale. Yeah, that's the guy. Destroy the beast! Find the baby! <laughs> well, actually, the actor who played him is actually the same actor who was that bald Nazi guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark who beat the fuck out of Indiana Jones. Yeah. And he fucking beat the fuck out of Indiana Jones in Temple of Doom, too. Yeah, he's this guy with the beard and the turban. It's the same fucking actor. Same actor who was this guy and this guy is also fucking General Kale. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And I wouldn't have known that if I didn't fucking listen to the commentary track on Willow. Yeah. Um, and actually performing it was kind of terrifying as well because uh, you're putting this flaming thing up through there and uh, you just kind of wonder how it's going to work. You know, it's an interesting insights from fucking Warwick Davis, you know, talking about the movie and shit. You know, he actually learned that, uh, you know, this band here in the Nelwyn Village? Yeah. Well, wait, three of the fucking Time Bandits are in that band. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? There's three Time Bandits in that band. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys ever heard of fucking Time Bandits? Time Bandits is an awesome movie with a cast of little actors. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah shit, yeah. Actually, that's a fucking hell of an idea. Yeah, we should fucking talk about Time Bandits. And we're gonna do it. Next fucking time. Next time we're talking about Time Bandits. Yeah! Oh, fucking shit, man. I, I shouldn't be using copyright music. Shit. Sorry about that. Anyway, till fucking next time, keep it real. Yeah! <laughs>